Hey, what's up YouTube? Andrew Rooney here. We're back with another Patreon pick. This one is for Mitch D. And I would, again, this is becoming a bit of a theme on the channel. I would like to apologize to Mitch D. It's taking a little while to get to this one, so. Really happy to be here now. It is Paul Seidel of The Ocean. Jurassic Cretaceous. And he's saying here that it is quite epic. Okay, I've just brought up the link and it is quite a long one. That's what she said. So we're going to get straight into it. But please, before we do that, be sure to subscribe and like. Do the right thing. Make Van Damme dance. You know what to do. Let's check it out. For some reason, this video is really making me want to go and practice. I don't know what it is, whether it's the home studio style setup. He's got a really neat looking setup here. He's got cameras over here, camera over here, some really nice overheads, bit of sound protection in the back there. I don't know what it is. This video is really making me like, I'm getting motivated. I want to go and practice. It's the 8th of January. <laughs> I haven't been back in the studio yet all year yet been on the pad though um figuring out some pad stuff when i'm thinking of doing a few pad lessons actually but this video is inspiring me to play to practice <laughs> Paul Seidel's got me in a little bit of a trance here. I'm really digging this. This is exactly the kind of music I would not normally listen to. And that is exactly why doing these reaction videos has been so great and so refreshing for me as a teacher, 
and a, and a full-time drummer to get out of my comfort zone and check out the stuff. I had never heard of The Ocean or Paul Seidel before this. Hold on. The Ocean is the band, right? Yes, The Ocean is the band. Hey, we're getting there. Just super awesome. I mean, this is very, very proggy and complicated and we've got odd time going on and all sorts of stuff. And the, the drumming is slick. The venue is inspiring. That's another point, actually. If you're struggling to, if you're a drummer out there and you're struggling with motivation or you're struggling to hold down a practice routine, make your practice space more inspiring. Like make it so it just draws you in there. A few lights around the place like we got here, that could do it. You got to want to be able to get on the kit and it's got to be easy to get on the kit. So I've always got a practice pad with really easy access in my house and it makes a huge difference. Small tip. That's what she Carry said. On. Great camera work, right? Snare off again. Interesting tonal choice. Great for the build up. So I realize a lot of non-drummers watch this channel as well. And let's just back it up. I mentioned as he was building up that part that the snare was off. Snare drum, the drum uh, right here that you generally two and four backbeat on. There's a latch on the side and you can just flick it on and off and engage the snare wires or disengage them. Again, if you're a drummer, this is probably quite, hey man, yeah, we know. But a lot of non-drummers watch this channel and I have been critiqued before and I've had people say, hey, man, you're a drum teacher. You need to explain some of these things you're talking about. So I'm just going to break this down. It might be really obvious, might not. So snare's off here. Watch his left hand and he'll flick the snare on and he'll change the sound. Note value, people. Hence, see the uh, the choking of the cymbals, relevant and relative to the note value that the other instruments are playing. Jam, jam, jump. Staccato, boom. 
catch it. the longest prolonged stank face I've ever pulled. I couldn't get out of that stank face. There's nothing more I love with a kind of proggy uh, orientated drummer or, or uh, performance than when they do drop into the pocket like our friend Gavin Harrison. It's just this incredibly good clean perfect pocket and this guy's doing that the pocket is flawless
And he's also got that kind of shred in the back pocket. The way he's catching the riff and framing the melody of the song is really, really impressive. Uh, this is, man, Paul Seidel, damn. again. It changes the whole vibe of the kit, snare off. It takes away the backbeat. Holy smokes, that is some seriously impressive drumming. The facility on this guy, Paul Seidel, the facility, the independence, the ideas, the musicality, the way he's capturing musical figures and incorporating them into this. It's like a, like visually, it's like this rolling, uh, moving monster that just seamlessly uh, crescendos and decrescendos and builds and but the whole time capturing the figures like so perfectly thanks again to Mitch D for such a fantastic pick and the patrons just knocking it out of the park once again best patrons on YouTube <laughs> I would say that wouldn't I but uh, yeah, the patrons just, just keep them coming. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll catch you on the next video. Ciao for now.